Hi guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Forge of Japan. Uh, this is something that was really surprising that I wanted to show you. Uh, I was taking pictures of these camellias, and then in the back there were these trees that were uh, tree stumps that were covered with these uh, honey mushrooms or natatake. I was like, I surprised myself. Like each tree stump was just like totally covered with these uh, honey mushrooms. Uh, or Amarillia uh, mella, which are um, very common uh, in fall, and this was like early fall, but to find such like a, a bounty, like hitting the mother load, was a surprise to me. Um, so I, first you check them out. You check them out because the the stems are kind of woody, and they should be hollow, and they have some striations on the on the stems. But the caps were still. Uh, I, I picked some of the smaller ones because the caps were still small, and. The uh, other trees had some that were growing uh, and kind of uh, spoiled or, or decaying already. Uh, then up on the hill, there was an area that had some of the, the honey fungus growing too. But honey fungus has to come from a tree, it has to come from a dead tree. So I was looking back to find where the tree came from, and then there were like a couple clusters that. If you check the base, that they are actually coming from the, the tree and not from the dirt. The bottom. This one was was kind of uh, decaying, and then there was uh, there was already it was infested with some. Some bugs already, so I went back and then looked at the other trees. They had some uh, scale mushrooms, but in the back they also had some nice. It's all it's all about timing, really. I mean, if you go there when they're when they're still young and they they haven't uh, had a chance to the caps haven't had a chance to completely uh, open up. But the, the stems, uh, the vulva is, is short and it has the, the color, it's different from, and the, the stems have kind of a, they're hollow and they have a, a dark, uh, a woody texture to them. But it was getting late, it was getting dark, so um, I just grabbed um, what I could have them. There was, uh, there probably, some of them are decaying and spoiled, so they wouldn't really uh, stand up. They wouldn't really stand up to the cooking stuff, but I, I took some so I can dry them out. And then with so many mushrooms, uh, you would kind of want to preserve them. So a drying process or, or freezing works really well. And again, the stems are kind of woody, so they have a, like, a nice nutty wood firm texture uh, when, you, when you cook them. Uh, sometimes the caps have uh, the caps have some growth and, and they have another uh, powdery fungus on them. But they're all, uh, I identify them as Honey mushrooms. They're very common in Japan, uh, actually. And then, but for it was really unusual to to find this big a, uh, a clustering. I was like really happy. Probably can't tell, but I was like going back, back and forth and finding. I only had like one bag that was uh, holding my groceries, but I dumped my groceries in my bag and I. Mm -hmm. Pack the mushrooms I could find because I wouldn't be coming back to that park. And uh, this was actually a, a day later. I I wanted to dry them out, so I dried them out for one day. So about two days, you dry them out in the sun and you you separate them uh, from the base because uh, they dry faster. Uh, and you can freeze them too uh, once you identify it, but you have to clean them out again. Uh, drying them out in the sun lets uh, uh, any whatever host uh, any insects or uh, grubs, uh, they release themselves, or you can hold them in uh, 
soak them in salted water. So I took some of the other ones, uh, the smaller caps, and I soaked them in salt water for about a half hour. Then I made a Japanese skudani, which is a, a one part of each, one part of uh, mushrooms, and one part uh, soy sauce, and one part medium sweet sake. And you cook it down. You can add sugar too if you want. It becomes skodani, which is um, preserves the, the, the mushroom and it has kind of a, a rich uh, salty taste. So it goes really good on as a condiment for rice.